right, here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship here tonight. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proving ground for his first UFC title fight tonight. Here we go with the former world title challenger, Gilbert Durinho Burns, perhaps a little bit undersized for welterweight, but he has resided within this top five since he moved up from 55. From the moment, John, you didn't know what to expect from Gilbert Burns at 170, but he has shown that he has the ability to compete with the best, and if you aren't the best, he buzzes right through you. I was very impressed by the way he handled the Neil Magny challenge, and he looks to prove again why he is the elite of the elite in the welterweight division. And he's also a promoter's dream. A lot of people feel like eventually Gilbert Burns is going to work himself back into a championship setting. But of course, the big fights at 170 pounds continue for one of the best from Brazil, Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Dorinho Burns, the man many of these fight fans have come out to see here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Presenting the challenger, Jack Della Madalena! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Gilbert Durino! All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about Ready. to get underway. All right, early round action here. How will Gilbert Durinho Burns choose to proceed? At times in certain matchups, he's had these verbal guarantees like no takedowns, right? Even if that's the path of least resistance. This is a fighter's fighter, absolutely loves to strike. Even though, of course, he's one of the more world-class Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners on this roster top to bottom. Trying to go for the single leg takedown. Doesn't get it. Oh, clean hook there. Well, you know he can stick and move, and in this case, moves and then sticks. A beautiful counter by the better striker in this match. I mean, think about the eyes that you have to have to see something coming in your direction, evade it, and then land something as effective as the shot that he just landed. Tremendous. And that one certainly found the target. Just out of range with that left hook. Huge knee lands from the goal. Oh, nice job to block that punch. Three minutes now, round one. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes. Oh. Got him hurt. Got to start looking to finish. Oh! Ooh, what a punch. Both 
Fighters throwing heat now. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. This is a great fight. Oh, roundhouse kick. There you go. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. That one connected. <sighs> what an end to round one. one. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter with a cut above his eye. It was sustained in that round. Now the cut man comes in. He'll try to earn his money, close it up, and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Got to watch his neck. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Arm triangle getting very close. He's got to clear that guard, though, if he wants to find the finish. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and show in that defense. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but there's nothing to worry about now. And he's got to start to protect him. That strike blocked by Burns. Oh! Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Yes! All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he can cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. What a strike from off of his back. Big ground and pound. Right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, nice. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of the offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded power. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, go posture again. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Let's go! Get him off here! Get him off! I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. 15 seconds. Burns is in half guard. 10 minutes in the books. Stop, stop, stop.
hands up. Stay moving. All right? We got it handled. Don't let the blood fool you. It's in a good spot. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard. Attempting a choke now. Oh, Darce choke locked and loaded. Oh, man, that is slick. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Burns is back into full guard. Trying to pass the guard here. But a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Oh, nice knee. That is bone on bone. Stop, stop, stop. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. What a round it was for him, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be... Interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it shows that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, 
And oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. He's up. What's the mission defense on this play? He's got to be careful here. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat. Lands the ground and pound strike. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Just over two minutes to go. Nice guillotine attempt here. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, submission defense holds up again. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. Burns is in half guard now. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Burns. Beautiful transition. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, good defense, yes. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Burns. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Oh. All right, looking good, looking good. Breathe, yeah, yeah, breathe. You got that one. Right. That was beautiful. Nice, right? Just keep... All right, so there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had one there. He almost had it. He had it locked in. He fight? thought the fight was over, Ready. but his opponent was able to escape. But the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets to finish. He knocks it out. Blocked the strike there. Counter on the hook is good. Nice job by Burns. Straight punch. Oh, oh my God! We send it inside now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 25 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC Walter Waite champion of the world, Gilbert Durinho. All right, so Gilbert Durinho Burns has developed his power at the Institute of Human Performance, and he produces a big knock.